Y'all so we back with another video and honestly I feel like I want to film my sneaker reviews and just be a little different So my sneaker reviews is gonna be filmed in the most Interesting places that you've seen ever. I'm gonna try to do one in the airport one time Did one in my backyard the last one. This one's in the car So we're gonna switch up the scenery while we're doing a sneaker review still give you the same quality content Of the sneaker reviews and today obviously as you can see we're doing the KD3 all-stars Wonderful shoe and we're gonna get into why it's bad good and what I do and don't like about them. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we gonna get started. But let's start with the look of the shoe. As you can see, they are worn. This is the updated sneaker review. All the ones you see on YouTube would be like updated. I'm me actually wearing them, playing them, dunking in a little bit before I give y'all the breakdown. Cause I do them on TikTok where I do like a short video of my first impressions. But overall, this little iridescent thing they got right there. Nice little accents on the tongue. Not really a big fan of like red but this all red shoe is tough to me they got the like playstation buttons on the back with the kd35 white swoosh everything about it. the little accents of the la in 2011 because that's when the shoes came out so yep honestly overall look i'm definitely gonna give these a i'd say eight out of ten i feel like there could be little things that improve but overall the little accents and iridescent of the tongue and the side are super smooth All right, let's actually do the traction. My fault, I'm selling y'all. So, um, traction, I don't really have too many complaints. I think, I don't remember the exact number I gave him when I first did the first impressions of the shoe, but overall I played uh, two men's leagues game in them. Uh, traction was valid. Only thing is like, bro, the shoe is kind of, the rubber, I don't know, it's like stiff in a sense. So like everything is smooth here, as you can see. It's got like that hair and bone traction. Once you get to like this outside part, one time my foot did slip. Like somebody made a move and I like, planted a little too far sideways and it kind of gave out on me so i didn't fall or nothing but like it just gave out on me and i don't know so like laterally if you turn a little bit i feel like this is a little hard and like slippery in a sense but other than that the traction on these is super smooth no complaints good guard for a shoe and they're pretty lightweight overall so up next we got comfort and this is a big reason of not a big reason i do have a lot of shoes so i switch my rotation a lot especially like the newer ones i try to break in so that i can give y'all more reviews but uh, like the cushion, the cushion in these just, I don't know, it's like, it's stiff in a sense. Like, compared to like my GT, I compare everything to my GT Cut 1s. Y'all would know, I hate GT Cut 2s and I compare everything to GT Cut 1s. If y'all don't know, now you know. And there's not much like, the, obviously the GT Cut 1s have an air strobel. I think this have a zoom unit in the heel. I don't know if it has it in the forefoot. But it's just not that much. Like I feel like I take a lot of impact. And I have uh, tendonitis on my knee. And I should be fine. But I keep hooping when I'm not supposed to be hooping. So that switches everything up. But that's the only thing that I would change to know is the adding a little more cushion in the damn shoe. They're a little stiff. But honestly, yeah, it ain't, it ain't too bad. Like if you like Kyrie's, like the Kyrie Low Fives, they definitely have more cushion than those. But not much more. So just keep that in mind problems of lockdown no heel slippage no none of that kd15 lebron 20 drama uh laces go pretty high and they're like a mid low type shoe so your foot is secured no issues there uh, i ordered true to size and they fit perfect so yeah that's if you're planning on ordering these or getting the kd3 on pearls that are coming out later this year or the white and gold pair those are my tips for you only wore them like three four times maybe two times in games Durability is one thing that I feel like may be an issue over time because like those scrapes, obviously nothing bad, it's cosmetic stuff, so I don't really care. But I feel like if I wear these every day for like two weeks, the scuffs will get pretty crazy. You got a little scuff on the Nike sign and then a little bit right there. I don't think I did I, I don't think I fell in these. But yeah, the scuffs on these go crazy just because of how the toe box is made. It's only really on the left shoe I see. Oh yeah, right there too. So, over time, these probably won't look the best if you're wearing them every single day. But, hey, they're basketball shoes. They're made to be worn. They're made to be a little beat up. So, yeah. Make sure y'all tuning in. Next video will probably be the Way Away video. So, all the Way Aways so they sent me. I did buy the 808s. So they sent me the All City 10s and the Sun of Flashes. And I plan to get the uh, Way Away 10s, too. Because I've heard great things about those. And I definitely want a pair. So, I'm probably going to end up buying the uh valentine's day low ones 
I've been trying to convince them to send me a pair and I'm tired of waiting because I just want to get the review out. So I'm probably just going to cop some. So that's going to be the next video. Uh, and I'm probably just going to go through all the shoes I have in my closet that I've got recently. And if I get any other shoes from Jersey Frost or anything like that, you will definitely see it. If not, you'll see the short or the YouTube shorts, YouTube real, YouTube shorts before I bring it on here and give you a full video so I can wear them, break them down, let y'all know how I actually feel about the shoe before I make a full review on them. But uh, in detail about these shoes, overall, not too many complaints. Wish they had a little more cushion. But other than that, look clean. I feel like they're a different shoe. You get an old school KD vibe, like the old school uh, Nike shoe vibe with the fly wire and everything like that. And it's cool because it was an all-star shoe from 2011. So, yeah, appreciate y'all. We are out of here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be bringing more sneaker reviews soon. Bye.